we're going to, <laughs> we're going to check Adriana's favorite. Mm. Right, right, Adriana? I'm not sure about it, but um no. Let's try. Yeah, let's check it out. Let's see how it goes. Diana Sanchez is coming in. So what we have are conditionals. Of course, we have how many conditionals do you know of? Four. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to work with the most common ones or actually the ones that we need to work on the most. The, okay. the first one that we need to work with the most is the second conditional. Do you remember the second conditional? Um, yes, I think it's the one that we use. It's about the imaginary situations. In the present or the near future, very near future, like any moment now, future. So that's imaginary situations in the present, right now, or maybe later in the next five minutes, something like that. So what we use is the expression if with the simple past. And then the present conditional. What is the present conditional? The result. The result. And how do we state the result? With the model. Model plus verb. The verb in form. base form. In base form, yes. It's for present situations with present results. Some examples. If I won a million dollars, I would buy a new car. If I were you, I would quit smoking. If I were the president, I would lower taxes. So what we have is a present situation, which is this, a present situation. If I won a million dollars, if I were you, if I were the president. What about the next one? Number four, what's the situation? <clears throat> We are working writing the result and then the the condition, but the first in in the in the middle of the sentence. I'm and sorry. They are inverted. Ah uh, yes. Yeah. So what is the situation? If they have more time. If they had more time, that would be the situation, right? And if we continue, situation: if I want ten a million dollars, and if I have more free time. And then yes. we have the result. Yes, mister? Also is the, the comma. The what? Comma, comma, comma. In the comma. Yes, absolutely, the comma. The result, I would buy, I would quit, I would lower, they would stay, I could stop, or I could travel. Present situations with present result. But look at the situation. The situation is in simple past. If I were, if they had, if I won, if I had. And the result is in model plus verb. Would buy, would quit, would lower. Would, would stay, could stop and could travel. Next, we have the third conditional. The third condition is for imaginary situations in the past. We have the expression if plus past perfect and the perfect conditional. What's the perfect conditional? The past model or yeah. the perfect model? Plus yes? have, have yeah. and, plus and plus the past part is a Perfect. <laughs> this is for past situations with past results when everything is in the past. Some examples. If I had gotten a gold medal, I would have been happy. If I had met Susan last week, I would have given her the book. If the weather had been good, we would have gone water skiing. If you had gotten up earlier, you would have caught the earlier train. Once again, we have things in the past. Situation in the past. If I had gotten, if I had met Susan last week, if the weather had been good, oh my gosh, I did it incorrect. 
I need to fix it. If I had gone, I go metal. If I had met Susan last week. There, a little better. And the last one, if you had gone, gotten up earlier, and then we have the result. I would have been happy. I would have given her the book. We would have gone. You would have caught the earlier train. Now, these things are in the past. We are actually using the past perfect. Had gone. Had met. Had been. And again, had gotten. And the result, the result is in past model or perfect model. Would have been, would have given, would have gone. So far, any questions? No. Now we have mixed conditionals. What are mixed conditionals? That's when we have a past situation with a present result. Or a past result due to a present situation. So we have these two different scenarios where we use mixed conditionals. Would you like to see some examples? All right, let's begin with the past situation with a present result. Or it would also be a present result of a past situation. It's the same. They are only inverted, okay? But they are the same. Past situation with a present result or a present result of a past situation. How do they work? They work like this. If past perfect, present result so this so far this is easy if plus past perfect but what is the present result do you remember that would be model plus verb in simple form that is the present result and we can change the order of the sentences. We can say present result if past perfect, which would be the model verbs with the verb in simple form plus past perfect. Let's take a look at some examples. If past perfect, present conditional. Present result of a past condition. We have a past condition. If I had listened, past condition, if I had listened, if he had checked, if I had gone, that's a past condition using the past perfect. Past perfect. And we have the present result. The present result is with would and verb in simple form wouldn't be wouldn't be or would be that's the present result now let's take a look at each of these examples in detail what do you see on the screen a mess <laughs> a, room. <laughs> a messy room a messy room yes all right diana yala can you please read it for me yeah if I had listened to your advice, I wouldn't be in this mess. So what we have is a conditional, if, yes. What that means is that all of this is real or imaginary? Imaginary. Yes, imaginary. imaginary, that's not the real situation. We are using the expression if. So if I had listened to your advice, I wouldn't be in this mess. So we have the past perfect with verb plus simple form, I mean, 
modal verb plus simple form. When does this happen? It happens when the situation is in the past. If I had listened to your advice yesterday and the result is today, I wouldn't be in this mess today. That would be the present result, right? That would be the present result. How many of you feel familiar with this conditional? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Sorry, me too. Sometimes. Another Sometimes. example. Another example. Ready? Yeah. What do you see on the screen? <laughs> They're lost. <coughs> lost. They're lost. Arturo, can you please help me read? Yes. If they had checked the map before the trip, they wouldn't be lost. They will be there by now. There you go. So we have another conditional. If. Which means that all of this is not the real situation. It's the imaginary situation. So what do we have? We have that if they had check the map before the trip in the past they wouldn't be lost they would be there by now correct yes how many of you have been in this situation <laughs> me too yes <laughs> So Maybe Google Maps. If you, say, if you say, if I had listened here, we wouldn't be lost. One more time, Diana, please. If I had listened here, maybe the man is saying, we wouldn't be lost. <laughs> if I had listened to her. Uh -huh. Listen to her. Okay. Yeah, there you go. It's more common when I am traveling with my husband. <laughs> oh, that would be your husband. Yeah, I understand. What do you see on the screen? A construction or an area? <laughs> yes, let's focus on the, on the man. A handsome man. Oh my gosh, a handsome man for Adriana. Good, there you go. So we have a construction, a construction worker. <laughs> Adriana, can you please help me read? Sure. If he had gone to the university when he had the chance, he would be a doctor now. There. So once again, we have a past situation. If he had gone to the university when he had the chance in the past, he would be a doctor now. How many of you agree with this sentence about him, about the handsome man? <laughs> well, maybe. Maybe, right? Yes, yeah. it's not for sure. <laughs> maybe you of course, it's, not. it's a good, it's a, a good uh, builder profile. Maybe ah. in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> Never is late. Okay. I'm sorry, one more, uh, can you repeat this? Never is late. Neither. Yeah. Never? It's not, it's ne is that never. if I say never is late? Nunca es tarde? Is that okay or no? It's, it's never too late. It's never it's with it's, it. Ah, okay. It's never too late. Okay, so we have the past situation with a present result or a present result of a past situation. We have the formula if past perfect present result or present result if past perfect. But we can change this. We can cross the order of the tenses. This past situation instead of past, let's make it present. And on the other side with the present result instead of present, let's make it Past. So what we have is a present situation with a past result. Okay, so that's what we're going to see now. Present situation with a past result. Let's take a look at how uh, the formula. If plus simple past, if 
the present situation with a perfect result. What is the perfect result? The model verb plus the have and, pass and the verb in participle form. Yes, or the, the past models or the perfect models. Mm -hmm. well, that would be the perfect result. And we can always change the order of the sentences. So we have past result due to a present situation, which is the perfect result if simple past. There. Let's take a look at some examples. If past simple, perfect conditional, this is the past result of a present situation. We have some examples right here. These are the present situations. Present, if I were a good cook is present with ex uh, expression if, my verb goes in simple past. Present situation, if I were, if you were. Oh my gosh, this is having trouble. Hi, Alicia. Can you hear me? Sorry. Oh. I'm sorry, teacher. I have some problems with my internet. Well, it's good that you're here now. I'm so sorry, Leonardo. I hope everything works out for you. And uh, the next one, present situation, if she spoke. And what we have are past results. The past result is the past perfect or the, the perfect model. Would have invited, would have gotten, wouldn't have started. Now let's take a look at these examples in more detail. That's the teacher. That's <laughs> me right there. I love to cook, but I'm not, I don't know how to cook. So <laughs> I just improvise every time. So I'm not a good cook. That's why I didn't invite my friends to dinner last night. Does this happen to you? Yes. <laughs> it happens to you? Yeah, it happens to me. <laughs> not me. Not that good. Cook. Not to you. That's good. That's good. Well, this is me. I'm not a good cook. And that's why I didn't invite my, my teachers. In my, in my class to dinner last night. If I were a good cook today and all my life, it's a present situation. I would have invited them to dinner last night. That's my present situation with a past result. Okay, ready for another example? Yes. Okay, that's the teacher again. <laughs> that's me dancing. I bet Leonardo can dance better than me. Uh, right. Sorry for disappointing you, but that's not correct. You can't dance better than me? No, I'm worse than you, teacher. You're, oh my goodness. Then send a picture so I can put your picture in this slide. <laughs> Thanks, but no. Thanks, but no. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. So, Monica, can you help me read, please? Sure. You're a poor, a poor dancer. Me? You lost oh. the competition. <laughs> there. Can you continue, please? Yes. If you weren't such a poor dancer, you would have won the competition. You wouldn't have lost. So, we have a present situation with a past result. Good? Yes, next example. That guy remember me. Uh, have you seen the Hitch movie? Okay, Conquistador. Yes. Hitch. Oh, <laughs> yes. The, the, friend? The, the friend, the fat guy. Yes, I put that. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. That's a good movie. Okay, let's go for the next example. Michelle, hello, Michelle. Can you help me read, please? Hello. Yes. 
Hello. She doesn't speak English, so she started this course. If she spoke English, she wouldn't have started this course. There, another situation in the present with a result in the past. Now, how many of you relate to, to this lady? <laughs> yes, right? You relate to her, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So there you go. That's what we have. A present situation. If she spoke English, she wouldn't have started this course. Now let's see. Let's go a little by little with everybody participating, please. What do you see on the screen? Maybe she forgot the keys. Maybe she forgot. A sad oh girl. Gosh. A woman. You, you, you are spying my computer. <laughs> Alicia, can you read, please? Yes. She forgot to grab her key before she left to school. She can't get in the house now. Has this ever happened to you? Yes. Yes, many yes. times. <laughs> many times. <laughs> That's too bad. Well, now let's talk about her situation. Well, we have the, the, the conditional if, if she, and then we have the time mark before she left to school. So what do we need to complete it? If she, if if she had, if she weren't for good. All right, let me, let's go one step at a time. If she hadn't. If yeah, she, check if the she she forgot. Find the cause and effect. What is the cause and what is the effect? If she didn't. She forgot the key. She forgot the key. The cause so, is that she forgot the key. So she's outside of her house. Mm -hmm. the, the cause that the she forgot to grab her key would be the situation or the condition. That she can enter to her house? No. Oh. She it's forgot the key. It's a situation. So? Yes, yeah, she forgot. I'm sorry. With red. I'm going to put it with red. She forgot her key. That would be the situation the, the, or the, the situation. condition. Yes. Okay. That's the situation or the condition. So, is in the past or is in the present? In the past. past. In the past. She forgot. She forgot in past. So, when the condition is in the past, you ah. use the past perfect. If she had, if she had forgot. If she had, if she, would, if she hadn't, had hadn't, 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 if she hadn't forgotten her key. key. Okay. But in this cause, we have two verbs. Mm. We okay. can, it's optional. If she hadn't we can, forgot. We could. Um, if she hadn't. Yeah. She, she could. Um, okay. If she had grabbed her key before she left to school. And what's next? She wouldn't she, she wouldn't she could be outside of her house. Very good. What happened to my okay? Remember to check the effect. That would be your result. What is the result? Okay. The result she can is that get she can't in, the in the house. She can't get into the house. Which is in the present. She can't. It's in the present. When the result is in the present, you use would, could, or might, and simple form. So how do you complete the sentence? She, would, she, she had could to grab her key get in the house to, now. She, she could enter her house now? Yes, or she, will go she could enter, she vehicle. could go in, she would go in, a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And a little more, uh, thinking a little more outside the box, you can say she wouldn't be outside. Okay. Right. Does anybody have any questions? Okay, easy. One more time. <clears throat> What we have here is 
a past situation. Oh my goodness. Hold on guys. With my Zoom platform is doing weird things. There. She forgot Should I have a question? her key. Yes. But in the first part, you also can use forgot or just grab. Or it doesn't no. matter. You can say hadn't forgotten. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So what we have is that she forgot to grab her key. She can't get in. So we have a past situation with a present result. Now let's take a look at the opposite example. Yes, a present situation with a past result. I'm sorry, what do you see on the screen? A girl taking a rest. Very good. Can you help me read please, Adriana Diaz? Yes, I, I didn't have classes yesterday. I wanted to go to my parents' house to relax, but I don't have the house keys. There, now we have, I wanted to go to my parents' house to relax. What is that? Well, what is the cause and what is the effect? That, the, that she didn't have classes yesterday. Is that the cause or the effect? The cause. And what is the effect? I don't have. She didn't have, have she doesn't keys. have the keys. That is the effect? No, Actually, she wants to go her, uh, to her parents' house to relax. That, that's, that's the effect that is not mentioned in their story. All we have is a little context. I didn't have classes. I wanted to go into my parents' house, but I don't have their house key. So this is the context. And the result, we see it on the picture. What is the result? She stayed at home. Yeah, she stayed home. She didn't go into the house, right? She didn't, she wasn't able to enter her parents' house. So, does it check the, the sentence and find which part is the condition and which is the result? If, what is the condition? What is the situation? The situation is she didn't have classes yesterday. And the result? Is that she doesn't have the keys. If so, I had... This is the My result. Parents' house keys. Uh, no. Mm -mm. That is the a situation. I will. I will stay. Uh, I'm sorry. I will go that to my parents' easy. house yesterday if I uh, had my parents' house keys. I would go. Is that in the past? I would um, have gone. I'm sorry. Yes, gone. All right, so what do we have with the condition? If. It will be on the simple past. If and I, what? If I had my parents' house keys. If I had my if parents' I had, house Yes, if I had my parents' house keys. Mm -hmm. Now the result. What is the result? I, I might. Relax it. Yes, I might. I might go to my parents' house yesterday. I go. Is that in the back? In the past? I might gone. I'm sorry. Might gone. Is that correct? I'm sorry. Went. 
I might have gone. 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 Yes. <laughs> There. Might have gone yesterday. I might have gone yesterday if I had my parents' house keys. Good. Now, this sentence is a little incomplete. Mm -hmm. Or actually, yes. the structure is a little strange because I have yes. the, the parents in the second sentence. So, let's fix it. What I have for you is another example. Yesterday. So, I would have gone to my parents' house yesterday if I had their house keys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's better. So that is when it's a past result due to a present situation. Yes. Is that right? Okay. Yes. Yes, perfect. Adriana has a question. Adriana Diaz, I can see you have like three questions. Me? No, I am analyzing. <laughs> ah, you're analyzing. Not me, right? You're not analyzing me. Just, you're going to get ahead. No, in this moment, no. Only okay, the situation. <laughs> <laughs> Just the conditional. All right. I have a ton more examples. Would you like to see the next? Yes. 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 All right. I think I, I, I am not getting it. <laughs> Monica? Uh-huh. All right, so I have some examples right here. It's okay, can you read, can you read sentence number one, please? Yes. Uh, Mary doesn't know how to play badminton. We didn't invite her to play with us. Is this real or imaginary? It's real. Real. Yeah, that's a real situation. Mm -hmm. So let's write the imaginary on the line. Right here, let's write the imaginary. How do we write the imaginary? If Mary. She... Maybe. If. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. If. If she, <laughs> if she knew. Mary, if. Mary had known to play badminton. If Mary <laughs> had known. Hold on a second. I'm going to write it down. If Mary knew. New. I, I think it's new, but I that's where I am confused. If it's new or if it's had known. No, because that's a present new? situation. So when you have a present situation, you have to use simple past on the on the on the conditional. So I'm gonna show you this. Take the time of, of the situation. If it's in the present, you need a simple past. Mm -hmm. Notice how the tenses shift. If it's in the present, then the imaginary situation is in the simple past. If the situation is in the simple past, the tense shifts to past perfect. Yes. Yes. So check the time of the situation. If it's in the present, you need a simple past. But if the situation is in the simple past, then you need the past perfect. What's the situation in number one? For the simple past. In present. In present. present. In present. So what do I use? Mary knew simple or past. Simple past. New. 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 Mary new. knew. Mary knew. Okay, okay. I, I I missed that part or I got confused, but I think I am getting now. Well getting it now. We still have a lot of work to do. So if Mary knew. What How else? to play? How to badminton. play badminton? Play badminton. What else? We would we have did. invited her. Don't forget the one. Oh, one the, of the comma. Most <laughs> the comma. Yes. The one of the most important yeah. things on the sentence. The comma. Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. we. We would have invited her mm -hmm. to play with us. There. Mm -hmm. And that's it. And that's complete. And uh, we didn't even check the, the other box I have. Check the time of the result. 
The result is in past. didn't invite. If the result is in the present, you need would, could, or might, and the verb in simple form. But if the result is in the past, then you need a perfect model. Would have, could have, might have in a past participle verb. And that's what you did. Didn't invite, would have invited. Perfect, that's your perfect model. Okay? Yes. Okay. Oh my gosh, what did I do? <laughs> All right, let's work on number two. Let's see, Adriana, can you please read sentence number two? Which Adriana? <laughs> Me? Adriana, okay. yeah, go ahead. Yes, you. We don't have access to company's network. We couldn't enter the data yesterday. So what's the cost? What's the situation? What's that, the condition? That we don't have access to company's network. Mm -hmm. So we don't have access. That is the condition. Right. Yes. Yes. Don't I have access. So in my conditional, how do I say it? If if I if, if we, we if we, we, we did had had access, access to, to the company's, company's network, network we comma comma we we could could enter. Would have and we, could, we could have entered, have entered the data yesterday. Very good. Easy. Easy. All right. Who wants to volunteer and do the next one? Please. Me. <laughs> Go right ahead. I spent too much on holiday. I broke now. So it's present. It's also present. If, if, if I, I spent. If I, if I hadn't. hadn't, if, I hadn't, hadn't if, if I hadn't. You're right. If I didn't spend. If I hadn't spent too much on holiday. Mm. Comma. I'm, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Would enough. I wouldn't have. Wouldn't enough, have. Been, been broken. Been broken. 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 Broken now. No. 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 Uh, I'm sorry. I wouldn't have been. Broken. I wouldn't have been broken. It says I or, am. I wouldn't be broken um, now. I am. Is that in the present or the past? Present. Present. present in present. the present and is that result or the or the cost that there is the result what is yeah. it is the result the result mm -hmm. so the result is in the present so what you do we need, need wool cool or might and the verb in simple in the past i wouldn't be i wouldn't be broken now, now. now. <laughs> i wouldn't be yeah. I wouldn't be oh my gosh. broke. Broke, yes. No. Okay. Because this is an adjective. Mm -hmm. Yes. May I say my idea? Yes, go ahead. If I hadn't spent too much, I have had enough money on holiday. No? <laughs> no, because you are misplacing this preposition and you're putting it in the result. Mm -hmm. So, yes, it can work in a different um, context, for example. If I hadn't spent too much on summer. Yes, I wouldn't for a second. I want to put it with a different color so it there you go. 
They are, they are both past. This is not mixed. This is only third conditional. Mm -hmm. Oh, those conditionals. You love them, don't you? <laughs> okay. They're such a pain. Me? Why? No, they're. Ah, ah, ah. The conditionals. Like I thought you. me, I was no. scared. No. no. <laughs> Sue is not here today. What happened to Sue? Okay, let's continue with the next one. Yes. Uh, let me see. Patty, can you please read? I have Number so much to do today. I couldn't dare to spend the whole night at the party yesterday. If I hadn't, if I hadn't so had so much to do today, if I hadn't had so much to do today, mm -hmm. comma, I could wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. But the uh, word is, is have present. What is have, the not, not have, have. If I hadn't have, if I didn't, if I didn't, didn't have, hadn't have. Hadn't have? I think it's just hadn't, right? I if didn't. I hadn't so much to do today. <laughs> Let's check it again. What is the cause or the situation, the condition? I have so much to do today. So that's it's in the, the present. Uh -huh. that's but that's the condition? That, yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. And what is the result? Like so she couldn't she can spend, spend the whole the night at the party yesterday. yesterday. All right. So my condition is I have. Mm -hmm. That's my condition. And in what tense is it? It's in present. It's in present. So, present. I have. Do I need? so you need the simple, the simple past. past. Yeah. I didn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't. If I didn't past. have. I didn't have so much to do have. today. I didn't. If I didn't have so much to do today, there. Continue. Somewhere. Now, that result, is it in the present or the past? It's in, That's in, past. Past. in the past. So how do we Quite say visible. it? Um, uh, with the would and the past participle verb. I would uh, have. Would, mm -hmm. would have. I would I have spent. spent. Oh, there. It's okay. There. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. I would have spent, I would have spent the, whole the whole night. night. The whole night at the party yesterday. Very good. Easy, right? <laughs> Easy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right. Who, who wants to do number five? Me. Go ahead, Alicia. If I I'm work. ready for my exam now after two weeks study. If, if I were, if uh -huh, if I were ready for my exam, comma, I wouldn't. No. Oh my God. Once again, I think what that's a. Do? If I yes. weren't, I think that's a present result with the past situation, right? You need to check the result, the cause and the effect, the situation and the result. Yeah, because the present the present result is that she's ready for the exam, and the the past situation is that she studied. So what is the, Two weeks. the what is the situation? What is the condition? The cause. What is the cause? Uh, if I didn't study, study two weeks. What? I'm studying. Yeah, that she's two weeks. Well, yeah, exactly. The result is I'm ready for the exam. And the I'm result ready. is I'm ready for I'm the ready. Exam. Yeah, ready now. for the exam. There you go. So okay. now that we start that, the sentence if I were ready. Is correct? No. no. So we need to do, do it again. And let's begin. 
It will be correct if I said, if I had been ready. If I had. But it has to be in ready. simple past. Is that your, is that your cause? If I weren't ready. If is, I... that your, is that your cause? No. Oh, no. You need to if check I your didn't cost. study. So if I had. If I hadn't studied. If I hadn't studied. For two weeks. Mm -hmm. I couldn't. Toma? I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. I, wouldn't uh, I wouldn't be ready for my exam now. Yes. Good. Mm -hmm. That better? That was a little confused. Yes. Okay, once again, you need to take, uh, be careful and identify your sentences, cause you, and effect, situations okay. and results. Could you send time. us this image, please? Okay, I only see David speaking, but I heard a lady's voice. <laughs> yes, mine. Ah, Monica is you. <laughs> Could you send us uh, this uh, image? Exercise. Or this activity? The activity answered or not answered? This uh, this is screen just answered as, as, as it is. With answers because or without we have, answers? Without with answers, of course. With answers. <laughs> yes, please. Because I think this activity was good. It was was good to check. But a little and, confused. Uh, yes, it's confused. But I think we have the explanation I, for this. I, yes. And the I response. have a lot more examples, so we need to. We can continue. Yeah, because I, practice I, makes I perfect. <laughs> Where are you? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Here. I like that uh, Mona Lisa emoji. Uh, Did you see it? No. It's recording. Yes, yeah, somebody uh, put the that emoji on Friday or Saturday, I don't remember. I don't remember why I just saw it just now. Again, I, I saw it Friday. again. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give you more examples now. Here I have one situation in different tenses. It's the same situation, but with different times. So the first one, as you can tell, If we had the key, we would go in. What is that? What is it, guys? Do you know? Do you remember? Can you tell? Um, that's a, a present result. Present result, and this? And that is a past situation. The past situation. The past situation, if we had. Unreal situation. So, this is a second because, condition. Yes, it's a second condition. Look, if we had. So, that's in simple past. Is that a simple past situation? Uh, yes. What? Let's repeat. Let's check it out. It's an imaginary situation, right? It's yes. It's not real. We had a simple past, correct? Mm -hmm. So if it's a simple past situation, it's a simple past. It's an imaginary situation in the present. There, it's an imaginary situation in the present. There you go. <laughs> I have more, okay? Don't worry, I have more. Oh my gosh, not that. If we had the key, we would go in.
there. <laughs> What's happening? Adriana Martinez forgot her key. <laughs> She's locked out of the house. She's locked out. So is this in the past or in the present? Um, in the present. It's in the present, right? If it's in the present, imaginary situation using simple past. Mm -hmm. If we had the key, we would go in. It's a present result that can happen today because we don't have the key. Yes? Yes. Okay. What about this one? What is that? That's a third conditional. That's a third conditional, which is in the present or the past? It's in, in, the, past. in, in the past. In the past. If we had picked up the key, we would have gone in. Yes? Mm -hmm. So now it's not in the present. She's telling a story to her friend about something that happened yesterday or last week or last month. Okay. okay. Yes? Mm -hmm. And it's a past result that didn't happen because we didn't have the key. It's all in the past. Now, what happens when I have this? If we had picked up the key, we go in. What is that? Mm. That is a past situation. And a present result. With a present key. result. If we picked up the key, we'd go in. If we picked up the key, we'd go in. Now, what's going on? So, Mr. Jesus, this is another example of mixed conditions, right? Yes, we're still, I have a lot more examples for mixed oh, conditions. Okay. <laughs> if you want, we can stop and do something else, but you really need the conditions. Yeah. Let's, let's we need continue. to practice. We need to practice. And to carry it. <laughs> okay, so there, now something is happening. Is that in the present or the past? That's in the, well, which one? The middle picture? Ah, there you go. Can you tell me? <laughs> What's what? What's what? What's in the present? What's in the past? Um, well, the key picture is in the past and they are going in the house is in the present. Yes, that's correct. If we had picked up the key yesterday, mm -hmm. for example, or last week or last month or last year, we'd go in okay. today, now. Yes? Mm -hmm. okay. If you're writing some notes, good. Write your notes. Write as many notes as you want, as you can. Let me know when you're finished so I can go to the next one. All right, guys, finish? Next? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, so when you have this situation, I think I can do, I can do it again. Result that can't happen because we didn't pick up the key 
yesterday. So we can't go in the house today. Oh my gosh, are you taking pictures? Hold on, I need to calm my hair. <laughs> Okay. So that's a past result that happened in the well uh, with the present. Uh, the other way, it's a present it's a past okay, okay, okay. situation. Yes, a past situation, a past with a present past result with a present effect. Yes. Okay. Next. Yes. There. Now, if we had the key, we would have gone in. Present situation. With a past result. Past result. So if we had the key, we would have gone in. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Result that didn't happen because we don't have the key now or ever, period. So we couldn't go in the house yesterday. Next. Well, yes. let me know. Let me know when you're finished and ready for the next one. Okay, ready, right? Next. Here I have a little chart. Mixed conditionals, hypothetical or unreal situations are past condition, if plus condition, present result, second conditional. So check this out. Only that, if a condition had existed, comma, the result would be true. So if I had won the lottery in the past, I would be rich now. Yes. Now let's yes. swap the tenses. Let's do them the other way. Now we have a, a present conditional with a past result. Once again, if a condition existed, Today, comma, the result would have been true in the past. Let's see, Adi, can you help me with the example, please? If I were a man, they would have given me the job. There, that's a present situation with a past result. Tell me when you're ready for the next one. Next? Yes. Very good, next. I have some examples here. I couldn't do this. I didn't have enough time to do it very neat and clear, but let's go over it. This is a lady. Yes, a, a single lady. And these are the comments she told her boyfriends or her friends or her pretenders, okay? Men that wanted to be with her. And she said, no, I don't like you. You're not good enough. So she says, if he were handsome, I would have been his. So here we have, if he were a present situation, would have been his with a past result. Another example. Present or a past situation, teacher, sorry. What is the situation in your opinion? Because we have two sentences. The first sentence is, 
if he were handsome. And the second one is, I would have been his. So you always need to check what is your cause and what is the effect. Now, in your opinion, what is the cause and what is the effect? The first one is the cause. So the first one, if he were handsome, is the cause. Yeah, because he's not handsome right now. <laughs> and the effect, what is the effect? They will have been his. That would be the effect, right? Yes. So we have the situation or the condition. And the result. That's what we have. The cause is the condition, the effect is the result. So if he were, what tense is this? Simple past. Simple past. So if my imaginary situation is in simple past, what is my real situation? Using a, a moral in past. Present perfect. Perfect. I think I'm, I asked the wrong question. So here I have a present condition with a past result. Yes, can we go to the next one? Okay, on the next example. Can you help me please, David? Yes. <clears throat> if he were smarter, I would have fallen in love with him. We have the same scenario. If he were smarter, Mother. what is that? That's a present condition. A present condition and, and with a past, a past result. result. With a past result. Very good. Let's see. Diana Sanchez, can you help me with the next one, please? If he were taller, I would have chosen him. And I think it's the same. Present yes. Condition. If he were taller and would have chosen, chosen? I, cho I chosen. Know. Chosen. Yes, chosen. Okay. That's very good. Chosen the result. Yes. Okay. That's all of this happened, for example, in 1970. As an example, the year 1970. Okay. And I don't know, 50 years later. Oh, it's right here, 1968. Now is the year, what, what is the year today? 2021. Yes, Adi, can you help me with that one, please? Yes. If only I hadn't been so picky, I wouldn't be alone now. And what do we have? That's a past condition. Past Past condition with a present result. With a present result, yes. Yes, guys? Mm -hmm. So, so. Don't worry, I have a lot mm -hmm. more examples. And uh, time is running up. Yeah, let's continue, teacher. Yeah, as soon as you guys tell me that you're good to go, I'll click on the next one. Yes, we're ready. Yes, perfect. Let's go for the next one. Here I have number one. Monica, can you read number one, please? Yes, he was irresponsible. So now he doesn't have a job. Yes. 
Yeah. Let's remember, we always have to check our cause and effect, mm -hmm. the situation and the result. Okay. Mm -hmm. And remember that what we have, if a condition existed, I'm sorry, if a condition had existed, comma, the result would be true. Or if the condition existed, comma, the result would have been true. So what do we have in number one? Um, we have a past situation with a present result. But it's a condition that had existed. The he situation was is he was irresponsible. So mm -hmm. what is the conditional? If he if he if he if he hadn't, hadn't, hadn't been, hadn't been perfect, hadn't been irresponsible, comma, comma, he would have, he would have a now. job. Yeah. He will have a job. Okay. Present, he would have, would have a job. Mm -hmm. Very good. Are there any questions? Mm -hmm. No? Okay, now let's work on the other ones. We have uh, six more to do. So which ones uh, we were using, like... Um... The first one. The first one. The mm -hmm. past condition first. with the present result. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. This one. Past condition, mm -hmm. present result. Past yes? Condition, present result. Mm -hmm. All right, so I, I hear they are okay. Yes. A condition had existed. <clears throat> the result would be true. Or if a condition existed, the result would have been true. All of them are mixed conditionals. Number two. Who wants to do number two? Leonardo, could you help us with number two? I will try, teacher. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm struggling a lot with this. <laughs> you are? I'm sorry. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> I need to say the answer, right, of number two? If you can, yes. And if you want to, too. Okay, just let me see the sentence. Okay, thank you. And you can work with your classmates, okay? Fellow teachers, you can help your fellow teacher. <laughs> yes. <laughs> If we will help you. She, the situation is she's not on her diet and the result she ate the whole cake. Mm -hmm. So that will be the second one, the present condition. Yeah, the pass. And with the past oh, result. I thought past result, yes, right? Yes. Yeah, yes, you're right. So if she, if she, let me think, let me think of it. If she went. Struggling, uh, yeah, I'm struggling if I can put uh, the past result at the beginning because I'm like, I'm like, if she wouldn't have been on a diet, if she would would have been, sorry, if she would have been on a diet, Hola, she would, wait, comma, wait, no? Wait, wait, okay. wait, 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 wait. You have the expression if? If. And you use you the model, just and have. they don't go together. No. In exactly. in in none of the conditionals they go together. Okay. We have a uh, if she uh, if she weren't on diet on a diet or if she were on a diet. She, I think, if she had been on a diet, she wouldn't be. She wouldn't have eaten all the cake. So if she hadn't, hadn't been, hmm. you say hadn't been? Had been. Had been? been had, she had been on a diet. But had. the situation is in present, so it must be on past, on simple past, she weren't. Yeah, we're working, she with, weren't. The, we're working with the present um, condition and the past result. Okay. But we are, but we are, okay, okay. 
it, it will be correct if we say if she, if she didn't eat the whole cake, comma, if, if she uh -huh, wouldn't uh -huh. she wouldn't have been on a diet. She didn't eat, or she would have been on a diet if she didn't eat the whole cake. Yeah. So comma. that sentence means if she didn't eat. That means that this is your situation. If she weren't. Is that correct? That's the situation? Mm, if that's the situation. No, that's, that means, I, think, no, I think we have that to. That is a result. The result have to be uh, affirmative, right? Or if she if weren't, she weren't if on she, a diet, diet. If she were on a diet. If she uh -huh. weren't. She wouldn't, she wouldn't have, eat. She wouldn't have eaten all the whole She would cake. have eaten all the whole cake. Yes. That if is she true. were on a diet. Comma, exactly. Yes, exactly. If she uh -huh. were on a diet. Uh -huh. yes. in, in because she's yes. not on a diet. On a diet. Comma, uh -huh, exactly. Have, if she were on a diet, she wouldn't have exactly. eaten the whole cake. Mm -hmm. Oh, we untangled that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That was hard. I have oh. to say it in Spanish first and then <laughs> understand it in Spanish. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so if All you right. were like, that, yeah, that makes sense. For me, it's working to localize first the situation and this, and then the the result. It's yeah, but first. sometimes I got confused with the with the. What is the cause and what is the effect? Ex with the position and, of the of the clauses. Yes, because you need to know what the cause and the effect. Then you need to identify the tenses, uh -huh. and then you yes. need to do the opposite. Exactly. All right, so teacher, as, teacher, I have uh, a request if you can send yes. this video because I couldn't pay a lot of attention today, sorry, because okay. of the problems I'm having right now. Yes, Mr. I'll, I'll share the video link with you guys uh, as soon as it's ready. Uh, who has eaten a whole cake? The girl. Me. The girl. <laughs> Not the whole cake. Three parts. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Who wants to do number three? Uh, everybody. Yeah. Yes. Everybody. We can, we can team up. We can team up all together. All right. Yeah. Let's see. Let's do Adriana Diaz with Arturo and David. Oh, my God. <laughs> I answered that, but I am not sure if my sentence, well, my conditional, it's okay. Can sure, I say that? Yes. <laughs> sure. <Right>. So <laughs> I have, if they had gone to a party, they would be tired. Wouldn't. But they are, but they are tired, actually. They go, sorry, they wouldn't they be tired. They wouldn't. Uh -huh. Sorry, they wouldn't be tired. Mm -hmm. So it would be the if they hadn't gone. Uh huh. I think it, it's 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 negative. It should be negative if they so hadn't they gone wouldn't. to the they party. Mm -hmm. Yes. They wouldn't be tired. If they hadn't gone. Negative. Yes. Mm hmm. Yeah. If they hadn't gone. Gone to the party. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yes, easy, uh -huh. easy <laughs> for easy. you, teacher. Yes. <laughs> My brain is just like this. Yes, <laughs> so much. It's so burning. Much. Who wants to do the next one? Number four. Um, Adi, have... can you help us? Yeah, go ahead. If... He had... didn't invite me, so I'm not going to the wedding. If he had invited me? Yes, if he had I invited would, me. I would go on. Comma? I would, I would go to the wedding. Uh, I mean, the context is correct, the context, but the sentence is not. You're missing a little something. I would have gone. 
No. <laughs> no. Can we write maybe? Because the verb is not going. Going is not the verb. Oh, it's oh yes. I wouldn't would be. Wouldn't be? I would be. I would have been going. Wouldn't? No, because this is no, in it's in negative. it's negative. So we have to write in positive. Yes, you have to write in positive. I would have been gone. gone. It's in would present. Have, I would, it's in would present. have I would, would have be. Mm. would be would I be. would be able in the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I would be oh. going. Yes. <laughs> I would be in the wedding, yes, of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, there it is. Let's go for the number five. Michelle, can you help us with number five? If they huh? were in Acapulco. If they weren't in Acapulco. So once again, mister, you have to check your cause and effect. Yes. So this is the, the cause because you used it with if. Is that the cause? Is that the, is if they the hadn't left. Yes. See, see that amigo? So the next. Oh, yes, they are inverted. Uh -huh. So once again, if they, if they hadn't, hadn't left. Left. Mexico City. Mexico City. Four hours ago. Four hours ago. They hadn't left. They. They weren't. No. No. Yes. They. They, 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 they wouldn't they, have been. They wouldn't. They wouldn't. They wouldn't. They wouldn't have been. Comma. Yes. Comma. They comma. wouldn't have. Been. Oh yeah, comma. No, comma. it's it's affirmative. They would would have been in Acapulco. No, because they are no. they are no, already in they Acapulco. Uh -huh. yes. They wouldn't. Yeah. Oh yes, they wouldn't. They, are, they, they, they wouldn't be in Acapulco. In Acapulco. Yes. Ah, uh, lucky them. Yeah. Oh boy, wait! I'm in Acapulco. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. Lucky you. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Yes, you're right. I, I, oh my gosh. All right. Let's do number six. He's covering paint because he was painting. If he wasn't painting the house, he wasn't painting. He he wouldn't covered been in pain. Yes, he wouldn't be. And the comma teacher. Ah uh, yes, the comma. Uh, actually, the house comma. He, he, he was be. painting. He wasn't painting. Is that correct? It, it, he wasn't painting. No, he weren't. If he hadn't, okay, he so hadn't, if he hadn't painted the uh, house, no. if he hadn't, uh, yeah, go ahead. If he hadn't, hadn't painted, painted the house, comma, comma. He wouldn't. He wouldn't be covered. Being covered. Wouldn't be in paint. Covered in paint. Mm -hmm. it, there's a little bit that needs to be fixed because in the real sentence, the verb is was not painting. Mm -hmm. So it's not painted. It's ing and hadn't had the verb been painting. painting. That's true. There, if it hadn't been painting the house, it wouldn't be covered in paint. Very good. Let's go with the last one. Number seven. He plays a lot of a lot at work. So he wasn't promoted. Mm. The, the situation is he, he wasn't promoted. 
No, if you weren't the result. if you weren't played. Played. A lot of work. A lot of work. If he didn't. He didn't. No, I'm sorry. If he if didn't, he didn't, he didn't play. Yeah. If, if he, he didn't, didn't play, play a lot of work. Mm -hmm. If he didn't play a lot of work, he would have been promoted. Promoted. Would have been. Okay, now I'm going to take advantage of this and use. Okay. Just a little different, might. Mm -hmm. Up there. Now, I have more examples. Would you like to see? Do you want this slide as well, Monica? Please, teacher. Yes, please. I think I am gonna get it when I uh, I worked in, work in my homework today. Or in tomorrow. the platform, when you work in the platform. Okay. It's been hard. <laughs> yeah, but the hardest part is when you have mm -hmm. to um, identify the, mm -hmm. yeah. You have to identify the cause and the result. All right. So let's go real quick over this. This is going to be a little more complicated, but sometimes it helps some of us. So we have the timeline, the present, the future, the past. So if this is a simple past, what is this? The past, past, past perfect. perfect. The past perfect. There you go. Normal real situations, simple past, simple present, normal. Imaginary and real situations that didn't happen because something different happened instead. Simple past goes to. Oh my gosh. Perfect. Yes. No more real situations or effects. Simple past. The, the result. I think this is incomplete. Yeah, this is literally complete. So the result. Results in simple past, imaginary, perfect model. In, in simple present, just go to a simple verb. So real cause and effect, imaginary cause and effect. Simple past and past perfect. Let's go over the real cause. When the real cause is in the present, the imaginary cause is in simple past. An example, I'm not rich, so this is in simple present. Mm -hmm. So I, that's the real cause? That's the real cause, simple present. Okay. So imaginary cause, Simple past. If I were rich. Mm -hmm. I wear. Okay. Another example. I am rich. So, and the imaginary cause. If I weren't. If I weren't rich. Another example. I work all the time. So, all the time. imaginary cause. If I didn't work all the time. If I didn't work all the time. Very good. Now, when the real cause is in the simple past, the imaginary cause is? In the past perfect. In the past perfect. An example. I wasn't rich, so? That's the cost. What's the imaginary cost? If I hadn't. If I had been. If I had been rich. Hadn't been. No, the opposite. Had been. 
Yeah, we have a negative simple past sentence. We have to change it to a past perfect in the positive, right? Positive. Yes, there you go. Okay. Another, another example. I graduated from medicine school. So this is the real cause. What is the imaginary cause? If I had if I been graduated. Had him, if I had been graduated. If I hadn't, yes, if I hadn't graduated. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, one more. If I hadn't watched, watched, watched TV. Easy, good? Okay. Mm -hmm. Not so bad. Now let's work with the results. Real result and imaginary effects. Now, on the results, we don't work with the past perfect or the simple past. What do we do? When the results are in the present, what is the imaginary effect? Imaginary effect is model plus verb. An example, result. So I can buy a new car in simple present. What is the imaginary effect? Then I could buy. Okay. Another example. So I can buy a new house. Imaginary effect. I could buy a new house. Could? I couldn't. Couldn't. I would, couldn't. Then I couldn't buy a new house. A new house. Another example. I don't have time. Imaginary effect. I would have time. I would have time. Mm -hmm. When the real result is in the past, the imaginary effect is in perfect model. What's the perfect model? I will have would have. Model plus have plus verb in participle. An example. I didn't buy any everything I wanted. An imaginary effect? I would have bought. bought. I would have bought everything. Very good. everything mm -hmm. I bought. Another example. I became a doctor. I, I, I wouldn't, wouldn't, would have wouldn't have become. become. Wouldn't have. I wouldn't have, yes, I wouldn't have become. Mm -hmm. Next, I didn't sleep much. I would have slept much. I would have slept enough. Enough. Mm -hmm. Very good. So all together, cause and effect with imaginary cause and effect. I studied medicine. I'm a doctor now. When the condition from real to imaginary is in the present, and you use the simple past. Oh my gosh, it's already 9.30? 30? No, 9.02. Nine, nine, nine nine 9 o'clock. 9.02. Would you like to finish this little section or would you like yes. to continue tomorrow? Oh, okay. Continue tomorrow. So that, uh, okay. All right, so would you like to continue tomorrow then? Well, yeah, good teacher. Yeah, tomorrow. Yes, I think tomorrow we can be fresh yes. than now. <laughs> yeah, I would prefer yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, well, I think I will be back. I can really refresh my mind. I, I can finish the little uh, presentation I have tomorrow, but for homework, you need to do in the platform, the course book and the workbook. Course. Unit five, lesson eight. Unit five, five lesson eight. Yes. But what did you say? Uh, course. Course. Course book. Um, That's for homework, right? Yes. And also, I'm sorry. Yes. And yes, also the course the, book and the workbook. The workbook, yes. I think it's the workbook. The same, unit five. Okay, both. Yes. Lesson eight. Okay. And teacher, um, don't forget to 
Yeah, I'll, I'll work on it right now. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I'll work on it now. Um, and I'll finish the presentation tomorrow, but it'll be a lot of help for everybody. If you can finish these two, these two sections. It's not going to be quick. It's not going to be fast. So plan a little time for this, at, at least an hour and a half or two hours. Okay. Okay. Yes? Yes. If you, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask on the chat, on the WhatsApp group. Thank you. Yes, teacher. Yes? How Thank was the class? Thank you. How was the class today, guys? <laughs> Hard. A little confused. Good. <laughs> it was, well, Hard. it was nice to me. Fine. Oh my goodness. I, I good. Uh, it was challenging. This topic yes. is one of the most challenging. It's not the most challenging, it's one of the most. Mm -hmm. Yes, so we checked a lot of little details before this class, so you should you should manage. I mean, you did great today. You didn't do bad at all, you did good. But you just need to practice a little more, but you have the platform, okay? Mm -hmm. Tomorrow yes. we're going to see a little mirror, a little bit more of the same, but with a different tone, with a different context. Okay. Okay. Right. We'll practice. Yes. Do you have any questions today? Huh? Oh. Not so far. No, no, teacher. Guys, have an excellent night. Thank you. You too. You too. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye, guys.